Whoa, 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 hold the phone, K-pop fans. Did you just feel that earthquake? Because Young's layover just hit 2 billion streams on Spotify. This isn't a drill, people. This is history in the making. Remember back in September when Young, our beloved V, dropped his solo debut? We knew it was going to be big. But this big? He embarked on a journey, a quest to pour his soul into music, facing doubts, fears. Would fans connect with his unique sound? Would he live up to the immense expectations? Let's be real. For a second, I thought maybe he'd just release an album of him singing lullabies to his pet lizard. Chuckles. But thankfully, he gave us the masterpiece that is layover. But here's the thing. K-pop is a competitive jungle. Every day, new groups debut, new songs drop. It's a fight for attention, for streams, for recognition. Urgent tone. So how did Layover rise above the noise and achieve this monumental milestone? The answer is simple. Pure artistry. Taehyung's raw emotion, his soulful vocals, his genre-bending music. It resonated with millions worldwide. This isn't just a win for Taehyung. It's a win for anyone who's ever dared to be different, to break the mold. Two billion streams. It's a number that seems almost impossible. But here's the craziest part. This is just the beginning. Layover is still climbing the charts, breaking records left and right. And you know what that means. Young's impact is going global. He's not just a K-pop idol anymore. He's a worldwide phenomenon. But with great power comes great responsibility. What does this mean for the future of K-pop? Will other artists try to replicate Young's success? And what will he do next? If you want to dive deeper into the rise of BTS and their solo projects, I've got you covered. Check out my video on the evolution of BTS's music right here. Trust me, you don't want to miss it.